Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the main renewable sources of energy. You should then be able to describe the advantages and disadvantages of renewable sources. In the last video we saw that there were three main uses of energy in the UK. These are for transport, generating electricity and heating. We saw that burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas provides a large amount of energy and is reliable. However, this also releases a large amount of carbon dioxide and is contributing to climate change. In this video we're looking at renewable sources of energy, so let's start by looking at the definition of renewable energy. A renewable energy resource is one that is being or can be replenished as it's used. Now it's really important that you learn that definition. There are lots of different types of renewable energy resources. Wind power, solar power and hydroelectric power are all commonly used around the world. We've also got tidal power, biofuels, geothermal and wave power. We're going to evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of each of these forms of renewable energy. So let's start by looking at the two main advantages shared by all types of renewable energy resources. Firstly, they'll never run out, and that's because they're renewable, so they're constantly being replenished. The second big advantage of renewable energy resources is that once they're in place, they do not add any carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, so they do not contribute to climate change. Now there are some disadvantages to renewable energy. Wind power and solar power are not reliable. Some days are simply not windy, and solar power does not work well on cloudy days. So we cannot rely on solar or wind power to provide all of the UK's energy needs. Now unlike wind and solar power, hydroelectric power is very reliable. However, habitats are destroyed when dams are built and valleys are flooded. Also, hydroelectricity is only really useful in countries which have got lots of rivers, so it's not really suitable for the United Kingdom. Now, tidal power is extremely reliable. We know that the tide will come in and go out twice a day. At the moment, the UK does not generate any electricity from tidal power. However, there are proposals to build a tidal barrage across the Severn estuary, but some people argue that this would be harmful to wildlife. Now, wave power is reliable and has huge potential in the UK, which has got an extensive coastline. However, at this stage, wave power is very small scale and experimental. Geothermal energy uses heat from the Earth to generate electricity and heat buildings. This is reliable, but it's not really used very much in the United Kingdom. Now, there's one point about all of the renewable resources that we've looked at so far. They all generate electricity. Now, that's potentially a problem, and that's because a lot of energy used in the UK is for transport, including cars. Almost all cars in the UK run on petrol or diesel, and they're fossil fuels. Now, that will change in the future as electric cars become more affordable, but for the moment it does present a problem. That leads us to our final renewable resource, which is biofuel. Biofuels are produced from plant materials. Now, when we burn biofuels, we release carbon dioxide. However, the growing plants took in carbon dioxide, so we're not adding any extra carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Scientists call this carbon neutral. Biofuels are potentially very useful, as we can use them to power vehicles such as cars and buses. There is a problem with biofuels. If we use land to grow crops for fuel, that could push up the price of food. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on renewable energy resources in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the main renewable sources of energy. You should then be able to describe the advantages and the disadvantages of renewable sources.